What's up everybody kid and right here? So, with American sanctions on, Huawei was still okay. Like it was doing a great job, last year's Mate 4 Pro sold pretty well, but I would say those were the initial stages of the ban. Huawei had a good stock of chipsets, that's why they sold numbers of Mate 4 Pro last year. But now, Huawei Technologies reported its biggest ever revenue drop in the first half of 2021 and this is mainly because of the ban which is now fully matured. So according to Huawei, the company saw its revenue decline to 35.5 billion US dollars. In particular, the company's consumer electronics department was hit by 47% fall in revenue which is like the loss of 18.5 billion US dollars. Its telecom arm also suffered a decline on the back slow 5G rollout in China. However, the company noted that there was a growth in its cloud services and enterprise sectors, though this is a relatively small part of the company. In addition, efficiency gains had helped push up Huawei's margin to only 9.8% in this quarter which is like 29.43% drop from last year, and it's a major decline for Huawei. But still, Huawei is maintaining its mobile shipments. The recently released P50 series does not support 5G and it's stuck with 4G. And the impact of this is already showing in the market, because after the launch of the P50 series, all models that support 5G such as the Huawei Mate 30 Pro and the Huawei Mate 40 series saw an increase in their prices. This is because users consider old models with 5G to be better than newer 4G shipments. And this problem is not easy to solve. But it is not impossible to bypass the 5G restrictions from the US because according to the latest reports, the Chinese manufacturer will be able to solve the 5G problem in 2022, and that's a great news. And you know what? Huawei said in the next few years, Huawei series of smartphones will remain the leader in the market, and the decline Huawei is facing was expected, and the company is ready to face it. But they said we will remain the leader in the market in the next few years, which is like a bold statement from the company. Anyway, users of the Huawei's Harmony operating system have exceeded 50 million, with 8 people upgrading the new OS every second, which is phenomenal. The Harmony operating system has been broadly used in Huawei watches, laptops and home appliances over the past 2 years, so I guess this operating system will be a way to limit the company's decline in the handset market. And some rumors are still suggesting that Huawei's Harmony operating system might become the third largest operating system after iOS and Google Android. So yeah, what do you think about Huawei's decline? Well, share your thoughts in the comments down below and if you found this video interesting, then a sub to the channel would be a great reward for me. So as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.